guys, so I am at this other little park, and I haven't brought y'all here before, so I figured I'd bring y'all along, and look how pretty out through here it is. It's so beautiful. This is not the half of it. Like, over through there, it's real pretty. I've not been all the way around this, so I figured I'd bring you guys along and let y'all see how pretty it is out through here. It's a great fall, crispy day out here. And of course, I'm in flip flops again. I should have wore tennis shoes, but it is what it is. Yep. Flip flops today. Look how pretty. Look how pretty the sky is, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. So, I don't know if y'all remember, but, ooh, that's a real pretty tree. Uh, look at these pretty colors. Um, that, no, that's a really pretty color. But this is where the ash spill happened, like, several years back. And so, all of this place kind of got, like, this is still opened. But, like, tons of people had to move and stuff. So, um, I'll show you some of it later. Some little rocks you can sit on and rest. Oh, does that? I think that little trail goes around, but I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, all of this place got ruined. Looks so much better now, but when it first happened, it was horrible. So pretty out here. This is just so, like, it refreshes your soul. Like, just coming out here and walking and... Love it. I don't even know how far this goes, but I've only went like not even this far. So all this is new to me too. So we're gonna look at this stuff together today. So breathtaking. It's just so pretty. So there are two directions, that way or this way. <clears throat> I think. We're gonna take the right way right here because I've never been that way, but I think that takes you back toward like the main entrance, but I don't know. This probably wraps around, I'm, I'm assuming, but we're gonna take this little scenic walk. You know, like, like I said before, like seeing all of God's beauty and stuff and like the big trees Look how pretty these are. It just reminds me that there's a lot of life to live. Um, and there's so much beauty to be seen in God's creation. Um, and a lot of times in life we just get sidetracked with day-to-day -day life and... Um, day-to-day -day stress, you know, fears, anxiety of the world that we live in, you know, with the whole situation with COVID and people that's lost their lives to COVID and um, just everything. Um, and often we find ourselves slipping away from what God wants us to see in life and the joy that he wants to like put in our life. 
uh, and we get so focused on all of the bad things that's out there in the world that we just don't, like sometimes we just need to reset and like be thankful for another day and just know that you're blessed. You woke up this morning. I'm healthy, I can walk, I can talk, I can see, I can smell. I have hands, I have feet. You know, we, we're so blessed, each of us. You know, we all have our struggles and each of us have our own health problems, but you know, we can find so many things to be thankful for. <clears throat> and I'm, you know, number one to be at fault with overthinking and over like worrying about stuff like that's just I guess part of my nature I think we were right down there just a while ago but we need to just be thankful and blessed for everything and just reset sometimes I just got those daggum prickly bras on me I think they're Ooh, Lord. I think they're all over me. Oh, well. That's what I get for getting out in the woods. Off track. Or off trail. I have no clue where this leads us. I think that over here goes around toward the other side. We'll see, hun. Feels so good out here today. There's a little bridge. And I was walking and thinking some more and you know sometimes we're like computers you know how you have to like restart them or um, like your phone turn it off restart it to where it can boot back up and that's how we are guys sometimes and I'm speaking for myself personally because just from experience of life in general with me um, sometimes you just need to do that sometimes you need to unplug and let go of all the stress i've seen i've seen all kinds of cardinals out here will go and just learn to you know restart and uh restart your life and relive because you know it's hard i mean like it gets so hard sometimes and look at this And sometimes you have to be in your own corner and you have to restart and have faith that everything's going to work out the way it needs to be. And uh, I was just thinking about that while I was walking. It's so pretty out here. Look at these yellow flowers. And another thing is... Don't be so hard on yourself. Love yourself, appreciate yourself, and be grateful that you have another day to make the best you can in life and do the best you can. And, um, you know, talking about myself, I've come a far long way to even turn back now, to even think about, you know, taking two steps back or, turning around because God's been good to me and this is a narrow path um, I'm learning to live I'm learning to love myself because if I don't love myself and appreciate myself then I can never have that certain someone that God has in my life for me to even be able to love them in return. Like, you know, 
whoever God places in my life one day. And so, I've been trying so hard to work on myself and I get discouraged sometimes because like, for one, I'm really hard on myself about like eating healthy and all this kind of crap. And when mine all started when, when uh, my son got COVID and then I was out of work for like 10 days and uh, what that was on there. I just started kind of like saying, oh, well, I can eat this this day. And before I knew it, I was just eating everything, bread and cake and all kinds of stuff. And then I went through this spell this month. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat. And it was okay. First of all, like I, I beat myself up a little bit and then I'm like, you know, no, I've got to live. And now I'm just like, th 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 like there has to be that, you know, healthy portion type thing when you eat and you, you have to watch what you eat. So I'm trying to get back on path with that and I'm trying not to be so hard on myself because we got to love ourselves. Just know that you're not alone in this life. And I, when I start feeling down and sad, I'm gonna be truthful. I, I've, I've erased about six videos in the past three months that I was gonna upload and I never did. I just deleted them. And the reason being, um, the reason that why I did so and this sun is bright. Look at this. Is because I just, I don't know. I just felt like I didn't need, like I want to put it out there, but I didn't. Because for one, there's haters and people are mean and ugly. And, but I'm going to address it on this, this video. You know, just know that you're not alone. And if you ever feel like, you are, just remember you're not. Each of us go through things in life and, um, but just know that we all face circumstances and when you think that you're about to give up or you think that you have no one, just remember you do. You have the Lord, he's number one, he'll help you. And when you feel like that, you have to press forward and just rely on God to know that he's gonna see you through because he is the author and the finisher of our story. I was listening to this song. Um, I think Celine Dion. Is that her name? Celine Dion? But anyways, it was talking about like our life is like an unfinished song. And I started to listen to that and I'm like, that is just so true. You know, there's unfinished chapters of our life. Your story's not over yet. As long as you have breath and you're living, guess what? Your story's not over. And each day counts. Each day that you get up is a new day for new beginnings and new hope and new grace, new mercy, new love. So these are the things that I tell myself daily. And even when I feel just alone and like all, out of, like all out of sorts and disordered, jumbled up, like my just emotions in my mind sometimes, it just gets the best of me. I remember, hey, I have four healthy kids, I'm healthy, and today's a new day. So, I guess what I'm getting at when it's all said and done, rely on that hope in faith knowing that God's going to see us through and he's going to carry us whenever we even think that we can't be carried. Whenever we get up in the mornings and you feel just so alone and broken hearted and you're like, oh Lord, how am I going to get through this? Like, look at all these little geese out here. I don't really know how far that goes, but... I think it takes you past down the soccer field here.
Yeah, it takes you down toward the other side, but I ain't gonna go that far because I'm kind of getting tired. As to of what I was talking about. So whenever, like there's been times that I've got up in the mornings and like just everything was just out of sorts and my mind was racing and um, I just felt like I couldn't handle just how things that life have, has thrown at me. And, you know, I'm always reminded by just having that little bitty thread of hope that God's going to be there and he's already there before your eyes wake up in the morning or open up in the morning he already knows and um, that's the thing you know faith is something that you can't see but you have to believe it to receive it and if you have enough faith it says in the Bible, like, as a little bitty, it's like teeny tiny seed, like mustard seed, then you can move mountains. And I always rely on that. I'm going to tell you, the past couple of months have been overwhelming for me. And it just hits in waves. Um, but you have to learn how to transi transition your thinking because if you think negative all the time, your outcome's gonna be negative. If you think positive, you're gonna have a positive outcome. So I try to rely on that and I try to, you know, do that. But life is rough, life is hard. But I'm thankful that God's grace and presence is always near me, even, even when I feel so distraught and all alone. I can just feel them and I'm thankful for that. Um, you know, for a while now I have, um, I had mentioned those videos that I have uploaded things that's been up on my mind and heart and I've just deleted them. Um, for whatever reason, I have my reasons, but, uh, but one of them was for the past couple of months, I have, Okay, you know, like the lady or the woman at the, um, with the issue of blood, how if she could just touch his garment, that should be healed and made whole. And a lot of times in life, I'm like, God, if I can just touch you, if I could just like, you know, feel your presence and like you heal my mind and my spirit, then I'll be okay. Um, and God always reminds me it's because we pick it back up. We pick up the heavy burdens that we're not supposed to be carrying. And uh, I guess what I'm getting at is just don't, don't carry it. Don't, don't live defeated. Don't live in your emotions. Cause Lord knows I have. And, and we're each human. And I guarantee you a lot of us feel this way sometimes, especially holidays coming up, not having family. And um, a lot of times I just, I feel so alone. Like it hurts so bad, just the ache and the pain. And, you know, I have my kids and I have all that. And I'm, I'm so thankful because if I didn't have my kids, I would be one hot mess. I'll tell you that right now. Um. But, you know, just like the longing for a mama, you know, when something happens or if I'm having a bad day or if I'm not even a ha having a bad day and I just want to say, hey, you want to go shopping? Let's go get some of those candles you wanted to get at the Sweetwater Flea Market or, you know, just little things like that. Like my heart longs for that. And sometimes like when holidays occur, I get so caught up on that and my emotions get the best of me and I get so hard on myself and... I hold everything in. I've, I've always been one to hold things in, like always. Um, and then when it blows up on me, it blows up on me. And then I'm reminded coming out here, this is like a, a medicine to me, like nature. Um, it's God's way of reminding me that they're here. And a lot of times if I'm feeling discouraged or sad or lonely, I can look at the sky or there's butterflies that fly by or red birds or the beautiful sunrise or the sunset. And I'm reminded they're with me. God's here. 
they're with me in my heart and I'm reminded, hey, I keep hearing somebody walk. I'm reminded I've got to walk my journey out. I've got to live my life. And I know that my mom and my mama would not want me to be sad or discouraged or heartbroken or, you know, all of that. Sometimes I get so homesick of that home feeling and like the loneliness just like overwhelms me. But then I'm always reminded by God's love and his, his care for me and how much he loves me. And God wants the best for each of us, like he does. He wants the best for all of us. So, just remember, y'all, whenever you're feeling lonely and distraught, this old girl right here has felt that way many a times. Know that you're not alone. There's many a people out here in this world that's lost family members. Um, their, their lives have been tragic and have been so awful. Like, none of us are alone. All of us are in this walk of life together. And I guarantee you, <clears throat> at the end of the day, there's always someone worse than your situation. I run into people all the time, and I'm like reminded, you know, each of us are blessed for whatever reasons that we all have something to be thankful for. So I try to rise above the storm. And a lot of times in life, especially here lately, I don't know, just sometimes it just hovers over you and you get so, like, you feel alone. Like, you just feel alone. Um, and here lately, I've just, I, I felt like I've just been climbing out of it. Like, just, if I have to claw and, like, roll and crawl and, you know, kick dust up in the air to get to where I need to be to get out of this hole of depression i guess it would be considered a top like seasonal depression heck i don't know loneliness i don't know um i know like you, you can always overcome and you can always you know that verse in the bible where it says the joy of the lord is your strength he is you know we can fail him and let him down and everything but at the end of the day he is there with open arms and he wants to be what we don't have. He wants to be your strength. And he wants to be your that next step that you can't take when you feel so tired and weary and like your whole body's worn from life struggles and daily struggles of life. But I'm thankful. Today I just feel thankful walking out here and, you know, We just have so much to be thankful and blessed for. Like we're blessed. And just coming out here and seeing the beauty, like it makes me want to appreciate the earth more and the like just appreciate what God's given us. Because it's truly medicine to the soul. When he gives us these things to remind of him and who he is and what he's created. He's created all living things, great or small. There's a woodpecker. See if I can get it. There's some little birdies up here. I don't know what they are. he flew right there but I don't know where he went just remember when you need to get out and have a have a, like a reset button on your your soul and your spirit take a walk at a park with all the beauty and I promise you it refreshes my soul and my spirit and it just the beauty of nature and everything that God's given us really helps you. 
It's great. Y'all should try it. Um, but give it a try and let me know what y'all think. I know there's a lot of us that like to do nature hikes and walks and stuff, but even if it's just something small at a little park or something, if you're not able to do a whole lot of walking, just do something little. Just what, what you can enjoy, you know. I've seen a red bird right here. He flew off. But I do appreciate all of my followers that's followed me through out the years and all of the caring, loyal, you know, people and friends that I've encountered and have um, crossed paths with in life. Um, I appreciate y'all and I'm thankful that God, you know, gave us the opportunity to meet because I know, like, I believe in prayers and I believe in encouragement and helping one another and I appreciate that. Like, I genuine appreciate y'all um and just keep praying for me and my family and i'll pray for y'all um we're all down here walking this life our own direction in life we each have our own paths that we got to take and uh we got to bear with each other and love each other and encourage one another so i'm thankful for you guys and just remember that um I really do appreciate y'all. We're walking with our little birds and there was a big old field mice that ran across here. It was funny. He was huge. This really cool tree. Isn't that cool? Look at the sun peeking in on the ridge right there in the mountains. So pretty. This was the best decision I made today coming out here. these walnuts. He's got him a nut. He's like, I gotta store them for the winter. This big old tree. Wow. This is a magnolia tree. I used to climb up one of these at my mama's house years ago. A nice warm cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows in it. It was fun. It's not hot chocolate, but this water will do. Anyways, guys, I hope y'all enjoy this vlog. Um, I have I vlogged yesterday, so I may like entwine all of these videos together just when I was out and about yesterday, or I might just do two, two separate videos, so I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, until next time, I hope y'all enjoyed this, um, 
little walk we done today and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.